This is our first day out on Waterford Camino Tours and we've had a very special evening. We've been here with the Waterford High Hopes Choir. Um, many of them have experienced homelessness in their lives. Uh, they've dealt with different forms of adversity. And over the last few years, they've become brilliant friends. Uh, music has brought them together in a way that they could never have imagined. And uh, over half the choir have found a home in the last year. They're starting to get work in the last year. And the music has been that stimulus, that catalyst that has helped them get back up on, up on the horse and get back at life. And when groups come away on a Camino tour, it's, it's a short little reflective tour where at little moments we pause for reflection. We might cycle the Greenway that's behind us here, or we might take trails along the Greenway or along the coastline or along the Comrades. But the whole thing is to take time out from life, from the chaos and the hustle and bustle of life, just a little time to reflect. And I'm, I'm joined here by one of the choir founders and one of the members of the choir, Mousy. Mousy, have you enjoyed the day first? Oh, day? it was brilliant. It was brilliant. Yeah, yeah. It was brilliant. And stopping and talking and all well, that was brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Mousy, for you, this peace and this tranquility and this calm is a far cry from the life you led in London oh, up until about five years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, it was hectic for uh, it was over the years and uh, it was hectic. Every day it was hectic, like, I mean. Yeah, I'm worried about your habit every morning and you have to get, I mean, stop being sick and... Would it be fair to say that the wheels came off your life, Mousy? Oh, totally, totally, off? totally, totally, yeah, totally. We've just come out of Dora Tunnel there where there, there was darkness and that. Could you relate to that, 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 oh, that, yeah, yeah, that you've walked it. through tunnels that have been yeah, very darkened? When I was over in London, like, that, there was nothing there. It was dark, complete darkness. There wasn't even a glimmer of a light. Uh, and then uh, I, got, I joined the choir and... And, uh, and ever since then, like, it's been brilliant. You know I mean, it's helped my mental health issues and all that kind of thing. You know, so it's brilliant. So, yeah. on your darkest hour, what got you through? Was it drugs that got you through, or was was there somebody or something that got that pulled uh, you through because you were there for nearly well, 28 years? Yeah, my family, my, my family. You know, I, mean, I wanted to know. I didn't know. They didn't know. They thought I was dead, but uh, I didn't know who was alive and dead in my family. You know, like that, like you know what I mean. So. Uh, yeah, we meet them one day, they got me through. So they, they made contact, they contacted you from Waterford, from yeah, Ireland? Yeah, they found me through with the Salvation Army, yeah. And yeah. You, you came back home? I came home, um, yeah, And yeah. just the last few years with the choir and with life, uh, have you come out the other side of the tunnel, that that metaphoric tunnel? Have you have you found something now that you really believe is worth oh, living for? Yeah, yeah, yes I have, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm definitely, I'm, I'm out in the light anyway, and uh, things that have never been uh, like good for me, uh, like this for me the whole life, like, and to come on a walk like this is fantastic, you know what I mean? Yeah, it gives you time to reflect and whatever. You know what I mean? And you've just got word in the last month that you're getting your own home now in the yeah, next while. Yeah, yeah, it just went to the matter now we're getting any repairs done on it and then... Uh, through it all, Mousy, was there a voice inside or was there something that sustained you through it or was it just good friends or, or, or what no, was no, it that no, got you through? I, I don't know, I don't, I don't count myself um, pretty religious or anything like that, but there was always something there, I don't know what it was. There was always something there, though. When I, when I was really down, like, you know what I mean? There's something to tell me, like, I mean, come on, you have to... So you sort yourself out, and I would for a little while, and then I go back down again, like. But there was always something there, like I don't know what it was, to be honest with you, but it was something, it was something anyway. And Mousy, if there's someone out there listening to this or watching this, and maybe thinking of coming on the Camino tour, but even more so, maybe thinking that God, how did he come through that tough time? And I wonder, will I? What, what message would you have to give to people that are dealing with their own darkness in life, that well, are well, struggling with different well, aspects I, of life? I, I got through my point, my name is uh, by uh, talking to someone, meeting people, and talking to them, and uh, really talking to them. And, uh, and there's a lot of people that can go to now and uh, if I have something in mind to talk to you and uh, it's brilliant, it's brilliant, I mean, I can't stop talking now actually, you know what I mean, but uh, <laughs> Brilliant Mousy, thanks Thank for being here, so take care.
seven towers But I only see one way out You've got a crowd without weeping Talk without speaking Scream without raising your voice You know I took the poison From the poison stream And I floated right out of here Oh